Though the histories of which haven are scarce, it was once known as a bustling fishing town and notable for its industry. It was likely built following the rise of Candran in the year 7 of the 5th age, after Ardoin grew. While its fishing industry was once the height of Candran, in more recent times the town has fallen on hard luck. When the fishing platform was built a small way off the coast, it destroyed the advantage of the fishermen in Witchhaven. Soon enough, the fishing platform became the height of prosperity upon this coast. Though they have taken over the fishing industry of Witchhaven, the people that come back from the fishing platform don't return the same as they left. It is said that the people have been acting strangely, and as Witchhaven has worked with the people of the fishing platform to keep themselves afloat, this strange behaviour has started to spread. Some of the people of Witchhaven have grown concerned for their citizens as these changes became more and more apparent. Of note, between Witchhaven and East Ardoin is a small dungeon built under old ruins. Though unknown, these ruins were probably once a temple during the Third Age or a building of some use to the Marjorat that inhabited the area in the Fourth Age. Though now a lair for hobgoblins, ogres and hellhounds, it is used for other lesser known purposes too, unknown to the locals. Though Witchhaven is not the bustling centre of fishing opportunities that Citizenscape heard about, he still has some tasks to complete here today. For quest tasks, we'll need to complete the Sea Slug quest for the people of the town. For combat tasks, we'll need to take out a Hobgoblin and an Ogre in the dungeon below the town. For our skill tasks, we're going to make use of the spinning wheel to make more bowstrings, as well as chop, burn and fletch a willow tree in the area. Finally, for our miscellaneous tasks, we're going to make purchase from Lovecraft's Tackle Shop, pray at the altar, and speak to Colonel O'Neill. With all that in store for today, let's begin. We're walking into Witch Haven today. We've heard that it's a fishing community, but it looks a little rundown. We notice some old ruins and stairs leading down into a dungeon. We'll come back to this later. There's a small church here and a house with a spinning wheel too. Near the shore there's a fishing shop, but we don't have any money with us. Near a larger house there are willow trees too. We'll have to remember these. The whole town looks depressing. We chat with the citizens inside of it and they don't seem too happy. They're distant at best and seem depressed. We talk with a man that introduces himself as Colonel O'Neill, sitting on a rocking chair on the dock near a sunken ship. He seems unimpressed with us and tells us to go away until we've done something of note. There must be some way we can help the people here. Why are they all so down in the dumps? Hello there, I'm Citizenscape. It seems like there's something the matter in town. My name is Caroline. Forgive me for being so forward, but you seem rather capable. Is there any chance you could help me? Of course, I'm always happy to help. What's the matter, Caroline? It's my husband, you see. He works on the new fishing platform. The fishing platform? What's that? It was recently built out from the docks here at sea. The people that built it, they took away all the work from this town. Now my husband has to work there to keep us and our son fed. Oh, I see. Is that why everyone here is so down? I imagine life's hard when all the work dries up. It's tough, but there's more to it than that. My husband takes our son Kenneth out there with him once a month. They usually write, but I haven't heard anything in over a week. So you think something might have happened to them? Gods, I hope not. The thing is, nobody's heard from any of the other fishermen either. The whole situation is, well, fishy. Mmm, I'll see what I can do. How can I get to the fishing platform from here? Aye, my friend Holgard has a boat. He can roll you out. We talk to Holgard, asking to make our way to the fishing platform, but he tells us that his rowboat has a hole in it right now. He thinks he can fix it up with some swamp paste, which we thankfully have in the bank. We pop over to Sears Village and grab some, rushing back to Holgart. He fixes the boat and we make our way out to the fishing platform. The people here are acting odd. They remind us a little of Morton. They seem a little out of it. They have yellowish skin and have some difficulty staying up straight. None of the fishermen here are fishing, and there are strange sea slugs all over the platform. We try to pick one up, but it lashes out at us. How odd. Hello? You look a little more normal. What's going on here? Never mind that. Quick, hide from the others. Who are you? Why are we hiding? I'm Bailey, the cook. Who are you? I'm Citizenscape. Something strange is going on here, Citizenscape. What are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for Kenneth, Kent and Caroline's kid. Have you seen him? Not sure. He's hiding if he knows what's good for him. Right. And what about Kent, his father? He's supposed to be working on the platform here too, right? He was, 
but he left a few days ago to go get help. Well, he hasn't arrived back in Witchhaven, so tell me, what's going on here? Well, about a week ago, the fishermen pulled up some of those strange sea slugs with a haul of fish, and after a while, they began to act strangely. They kept pulling up more slugs and then releasing all of the fish. And when you say they were acting strangely... They... they weren't themselves anymore. It's like they were possessed. I managed to hide myself away in here for now, but I don't know what to do. Okay, so you think it's connected to these sea slug things? Mm, seems like it. I tried cooking one when they first brought them in, but the thing is so squirmish around fire that I couldn't even cook it. Well, you stay safe in here. I'm going to go look for Kenneth. Making our way around the platform past the possessed fisherman, we head up a ladder to the top floor. Barricaded in a room, we find Kenneth. He says that he wants his dad and that the possessed fisherman tried to throw him and his father into the sea. He won't leave with us right now though. If Kent left a few days ago, he should have made it back to Witchhaven by now. We head back to Holgart and travel around the area near the platform looking for Kent. Finding an island, we make our way ashore and notice Kent stranded. Oh thanks Sarah Domin. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. You must be Kent. I am Citizenscape. Your wife sent me to find you and your son. Kenneth is okay, but he's on the fishing platform still. How did you end up here? The rowboat was in poor condition. I thought it might be enough to get back to Witchhaven, but apparently not. I knew it might not make it. That's why I left Kenneth behind. I see. So you know what's happening with the slugs on the fishing platform, right? I do. I got away in time, but the others... I sorry, the sea slugs attached themselves to their bodies and took over their minds. That's not good. We have to get Kenneth before they catch him. Citizenscape, wait. Wow, that was a close one. Please, be careful, and get my son back for me. We make our way back to the platform and quickly check on Bailey. Oh, it's you. Thanks, Sarah Dahman. Those fishermen went mad. They tried to throw me into the sea. It's the sea slugs. They've taken people over. How did you escape? It's fire. They're afraid of fire. They wouldn't come near me when I was near my stove. Here, take this. If you can get it lit, I doubt they'll come near you. You won't make it back to Kenneth without it. With the torch not lit, we need to find a way of kindling it. There's broken glass on the ground here, but the torch won't light from just that. Sneaking around the fishermen, we find some damp sticks on the ground. With the glass, we manage to heat up the sticks enough to rub them together. This lights the torch, which scares away the possessed fishermen. Heading up the ladder, we make it back over to Kenneth and tell him what's going on. He's scared, however, and doesn't want to go anywhere near the slugs. We'll need to lower him down without him touching the lower platform. We kick open some loose boards to give him a way to crawl out of the room. Using the crane nearby, we can lower him down into Holgart's boat and get him clear of the platform. Oh, thank you, Citizenscape. My husband and son have returned to me. You've done a great deal for this town. I'm happy to help. The people on the platform are acting strangely. It won't be safe to go there anytime soon. But now the situation seems to be contained, but I'd keep a watch out here also. Thank you again. If anyone here fishes up some of those strange sea slugs, make sure to squish them. With Caroline helped and Kenneth and Kent back home, we talk again to Colonel O'Neill. He still doesn't seem impressed with us. What does it take to impress this guy? We see Kenneth around the town, however, and he's impressed with us, thanking us for our help. With our newfound fishing knowledge, we try again to enter the fishing guild. Well, that was a bust. We head back to Witchhaven with some flax, money, and fishing equipment. We make use of the spinning wheel to make some bowstrings before buying some fishing bait and feathers from Lovecraft's tackle. We carefully make our way out to the fishing platform, looking to do a bit of fishing and see if we reel in any sea slugs or not. Thankfully, we only catch regular fish. The people on the platform are still acting strangely, but we'll have to wait and see how this develops. We get our tools out of the bank in Sears Village and cut, burn and fletch some willow logs for our skill tasks. We then head to the mayor to talk about the situation on the platform. He seems a little under the weather with sickly look to him. He welcomes us to Witchhaven but doesn't seem interested in the menacing slugs on the platform. We take a quick stop to pray at the chapel to Saradom in here before gearing up and entering the dungeon below the old ruins. We've heard of creatures down here, fighting a group of hobgoblins near the entrance. We're attacked as we enter, but it doesn't take too much to take out a hobgoblin. Further up the tunnel, we're attacked by an ogre too. This thing is tougher. Without any food, we take a bit of a beating, but manage to eventually take it out too. 
We check out the rest of the dungeon, seeing strange aggressive dogs beyond a fence and some locked doors at the end of the hallway. I think it's time we return to the surface. It's been an odd day here in Witchhaven. The sea slugs seem to have caused issue on the fishing platform, but the town seems to be mostly fine. We've told the mayor, so hopefully they clear that up. We managed to help Caroline and her family, so the people of the town have come to accept us. For now, it's time we moved on. We're going to continue down the coast into Kazard lands. I hope you'll join me next time in Port Kazard. A special thank you to MTX Avoider and ACCL for providing voices for today's video. If you'd like a chance to voice a character in the series, subscribe and join the Discord. Links in the description below.